he's down. Well, we're having squirrel for dinner, boys. Got him. 12 gauge, number five shot. Got him right in the head. Right where you want to hit him with all the pellets. Nice big old fat fox squirrel. Cool. Finally used my hunting license for something other than deer. Had a rainstorm last night. So, the leaves are wet. You can really sneak up on the critters today. Let's see if we can get another squirrel. If we don't, I'm happy. Still trying. And these things are like shut down today. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I only seen the one squirrel today, but at least the one squirrel I did see, I got. So, fox squirrel, if you can't tell, if you're from somewhere else where you don't have them, you know, it's not your typical gray. Right now, I'm just kind of stretching them out, getting them loose. And we're gonna try the tail cut method. This is not, this is definitely gonna be amateur hour. I think from what I've seen, you wanna make that cut right at the base of the tail. Break the tail, but not the skin, okay? And then come around the back leg like so. Huh? Same. Helps to have a really sharp knife. Okay, is that broken? Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, in theory, you should be able to step on his legs. We're just gonna have to work him off okay so tell them what we're gonna do with the squirrel now that uh, it's been resting in the fridge for a few days yeah we soaked the squirrel um, I've never made squirrel before so we're just kind of winging it but we're gonna start it in the crock pot on low for a couple hours um, yeah it looks kind of like chicken honestly um, so I added a little bit of water in there just to give it moisture while it cooks in some pepper just gonna put pepper in there and some salt and then I prefer you can use regular bullion I would suppose but I buy better than bullion it's a liquid bullion you can get it in all different flavors I'm gonna use the beef bullion because you know it's good <laughs> so just a big spoonful of beef bullion thick stuff there we go that's it um i'm gonna cover it up put it on low and let and that, it cook for a couple hours that'd be like the first part of the cooking process of the squirrel we're gonna do a few things with it but this is the way to cook it so it doesn't get so tough on you yep okay guys see that real tender i think the crock pot was definitely the way to go I had one guy at least tell me that was that was definitely the way to go. I tried a little piece of it just right out of the crock pot, like I said, put a uh, bouillon cube in it, and it tastes pretty good. We're gonna, I think I'm gonna crisp it up on the uh, cast iron a little bit, uh, and I think this would be great in tacos, which is what we're gonna, what's, which is what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, we're making tacos anyway tonight, and I mean obviously it's just one squirrel, and I'm the only one interested in eating it in this whole house, so. Uh, we'll get back with you on that part. Just gonna give it a little bit of a sear. Not gonna do. Not gonna leave it in there very long. We 
wasn't even in there a minute. Just trying to get it crispy. If I were to do it again, I would have dried the moisture off uh, the squirrel with a paper towel a little bit. That's mm -hmm. why it popped like crazy. Yeah. It's the moisture that hit the oil, but I made mean, it turn out good. All right, so like we said, we're uh, making tacos anyway, so this would be just a little added bonus. Our fox squirrel in there. And some deer meat. Kind of help to warm it back up a little bit too. So some deer meat, fox squirrel. Our rice. Mexican rice. Cheese. A little bit of lettuce. And some hot sauce. And that is a squirrel slash deer meat taco with the extra crispiness to make it really good. And I didn't, um, one last point, um, I didn't show the whole skinning process because I didn't think I did that great of a job and I kind of fumbled my way through it, but I did get it done. Um, but I think there's plenty of videos out there that uh, show it better than what I did. And that's why I didn't show the whole skinning process. And uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Final thoughts on the squirrel. Well, it tastes a lot like chicken. I just thought I'd add that in there. Guess I didn't say what it tasted like. Yeah, not bad. The, uh, the crock pot is definitely the best way to go with the squirrel and uh, frying it up and make it crispy make it just make it makes all the difference and uh, definitely a do again.